Thank you. Thank you. Tonight we honor people who don't get honored enough. We began with hundreds of nominations. And from that very eminent group, pick six amazing people for different reasons. But all of them, because they see their jobs as helping other people to fulfill their potential. Their success in life is a direct result of their being able to empower other people to do what they should. So I thank you, President Paul Kagame of Rwanda, Asha Hage Elmi Amin, Peter Bakker, Roladoshti, Uchira Gupti, and Quincy Jones. Thank you. Much in common with our second Civil Society Award honoree, Ruchira Gupta, a fearless leader in the crusade against sex slavery and human trafficking, a cause that Ashton and I are deeply, deeply passionate about. Millions of women and girls are trafficked every year, and according to some research, as many as 27 million people are enslaved worldwide. Um, but in 1998, with the help of 22 women in the red light district of Mumbai, she founded the anti-trafficking organization APNIAP Women Worldwide. Over time, APNIAP has served thousands of women and girls working in prostitution by transforming them from victims into leaders. APNIAP, which means self-help in Hindi, has given girls and women the tools to empower themselves, providing them legal protection, helping them learn to read, to open bank accounts, and providing a safe space for their children to have an education. And with those tools comes a choice. In one community where Apniap is teaching girls karate, a student recently said, learning self-defense has taught me that I have a self worth defending. Thank you, Ruchera, for fighting against the worst of humanity. I am humbled and honored to introduce our second winner of the Award for Commitment to Leadership in Civil Society, the tenacious, the ever passionate, and a true hero, Ruchera Gupta. <laughs> Good evening. I appreciate the attention that President Clinton has devoted to the issue of human trafficking by conferring on me the Clinton Global Citizens Award. I receive this award on behalf of the victims and survivors of human trafficking who are members of my organization, Apne Aap Women Worldwide in India. I also receive this award on behalf of people who want a world in which it is unacceptable to buy or sell another human being, and an economy. <laughs> and to imagine an economy in which one is not forced to sell oneself. <laughs> Among these, I would like to mention Peter and Jennifer Buffett, who do imagine such an economy. My organization, Apne Aap Women Worldwide, has reached out to over 10,000 trafficked women and children trapped in prostitution. They were kidnapped, sold, coerced, tricked, or forced into situations of sexual exploitation. Some were as young as seven. They were kept in small locked rooms and raped repeatedly. Many died by the time they were 30 or 35. They never had a past but now they have a future. They are rid of their terror. Apne Aap has found a woman-centered solution that transforms women in the community from victim to leader. We help women organize in social groups and small economic cooperatives known as self-help groups. It's a Gandhian model, and we are applying it to work against human trafficking. 
these self-help groups are linked simultaneously with livelihood, learning, and legal protection by apne aap team members. These groups of victims and survivors are assisted in finding localized and viable economic options, provided a safe space and accessible space to meet that is separate from the place of exploitation. They are enabled to have the courage to tell the truth through open mics, conversations, and a newspaper published by the prostituted women called Red Light Dispatch. And they are also empowered in through this process to protect themselves and their children from sexual exploitation through the legal empowerment they find in the small groups and our help and are able to enroll their children in schools. Apne Aap has been able to establish 67 self-help groups of women, put 2,500 children of women in prostitution into schools. The existence of these self-help groups has challenged the notion that slavery and prostitution are inevitable. They show that women want change and will begin the journey from commodity to entrepreneur if help is available. One of the self-help group members, Mina, trafficked when she was 10, found the courage within this group to rescue her daughter, Nena, from a brothel in Katihar, Bihar. Today, three years later, Nena is studying to be a videographer, and Mina is a community mobilizer, motivating women to self set up more self-help groups. Nena's one question to me when she came out of the brothel was, as long as there are traffickers and customers, there will always be other little girls that can be bought. What can we do about it? Nena and Mina are both courageously standing up to traffickers. Now they challenge us to do so. Thank you. Thank you.